Hi, welcome to a comic book store. Um, do you have an appointment with me? Yeah, just have a look. Let's see. Yeah, so you're here to pick up some things and also um, you want me to recommend some various comics and things for you. That's fine. I'll go with what you need to pick up first. So we've got um, your Buffy Season 8 comics, 1 to 8. This is them here. Um, they're all the collections of the paper comics, but put into paperback books. Um, really high quality paper. It's not exactly glossy, but it's um, thick, so it's high quality. And the thinner ones are eleven ninety nine, and then there's a couple that are twelve ninety nine because they're a bit thicker. They've each got really well drawn um, images, and the characters follow on from the TV series. So you've got Buffy. Willow, Xander, Giles, Dawn, all the main characters basically, and some old friends come back as well. I've actually read them myself, and they're all extremely good. Stay true to the characters and them. So that's number one, which is The Long Way Home. And then we've got number two, No Future For You. Um, this one involves Faith as well, so get a bit of her in. It's also at the back with some um, like larger drawings, just by the artists. This is a little extra sort of thing. There's one that looks like the Avengers, for example. <laughs> and they're all written in part at least by Joss Whedon who wrote the TV series so you know they're going to stay true to the series. This is the third one, Wolves at the Gate. Uh, this involves Dracula who we see in the first episode of season 5 I think, Buffy vs Dracula. So he returns, it's really good. This one is the fourth one. And I Time of Your Life, it's called. Uh, it's got um, an extra little part that actually looks like the cartoon that was going to be made. So that's really good. That looks really cool. Number five is Predators and Prey. I must say the um, comics are a little more... How should I put it? They're like, um, sorry, that's just the dog. They're more, um, science fiction than the TV series. They're still, um, fantasy and there's still vampires and things, but there's definitely more of a science-y kind of theme throughout these comics. It's not to say it's a bad thing, though. No, it's really good. <laughs> there's also, um, some really high quality images that are more lifelike throughout the comics. That's probably a bad example of one, but um see so you, you get a bit of everything really in these. Definitely a good choice on your part. Um this is issue seven and it's twelve ninety nine because it's a bit thicker than the others as you can see. Um, involving Spike and Angel in this one, so that's really cool. And because they're comics, you've got to kind of put the reality that the series was based in behind you a little bit, so it's more, it's not more fantasy because the series was pretty fantasy too, but um, you've got to be open-minded, shall we say. <laughs> 
and this is the last one in season 8, last gleaming. Apparently there's going to be a season 9 with comics as well, so I'll keep an eye out for that for you. Let's just put them down here. Um, you also ordered the first two Wolverine Origins comics. We've got issue 1 here. Um, it's basically just the story of Wolverine in his early days. It doesn't show you exactly how he got the adamantium claws and things, but it's um, like earlier stuff that isn't in the movies, for example. He gets to fight Captain America and things in this one as well. We couldn't get the third one in. It's um, a bit difficult to get at the minute, so I'll give you a call when um, we get that in. So this is the second one. The um, images are actually really smooth, if that makes sense. They're like smoothly drawn, not as jagged as some of the, some of the other X-Men comics. And it's high quality paper once again. This is quite glossy paper actually, so that's really good. It's those two. I've actually got an offer on today, so you get one of these half price. Okay, um, you want me to recommend some X-Men things as well. So I've got this one, which is New X-Men. This is, uh, it's the original team basically, so we've got Cyclops, Beast, Emma Frost, Jean Grey, Professor. Um, and it's fighting against this woman who claims to be Xavier's twin kind of thing. It's a bit hard to explain, but <laughs> it's um, one of the better ones I've read, personally. Um, the images are really well drawn in this one. Quite lifelike in some of the um, pictures, actually. Thick pages again. Probably not as thick as in some of the other graphic novels because um, it's a bigger book, so it would have to be like really thick if the pages were thicker. That makes sense. So that's that one. Also got. Let's move these over here. Um, Uncanny X Men. So that's um, it's the same group really. We've got a few added extras. There's a uh, Storm and Colossus, Kitty Pride, Nightcrawler, for example, Gambit, Rogue. <laughs> Pretty much every X Men you can think of. This has a really good style as well. It's um quite lifelike as well. Some of the images really well detailed fighting um, various things. Fantastic Four also, well Fantastic Three, make an appearance in this one. Storm's acting as the fourth member. So that's really cool. Kind of merging together. This is another one. This is actually a thicker one. It's priced at $18.99. And it's got um, some smaller stories at the back. I really like this style of drawing actually, it's like more cartoony, but it's, um, it's really expressive, that type of drawing I just find, so that's pretty exciting. And we've got Love Lawn, which we go inside um, Scott's head in this one, and there's <laughs> some interesting things in there. As you can probably imagine, inside any man's head. Nice thick paper again.
And then we also got this one, Sisterhood, which is ten ninety nine. It's on sale at the minute. Um, they go into the past. It's a bit different. It doesn't really feel like an X Men comic. This one, but um, it's extremely interesting. And again, the imagery is just beautiful. So that's really good. Okay, now I've also picked out Civil War for you because it's a brilliant comic. I think it's a standalone one. Um, it's ten ninety nine, which is great price for this, and it involves pretty much all of your Marvel superheroes that you enjoy. It's got a gorgeous style. Pages aren't glossy; they're more of a, um, like a matte finish. But it's just fantastic. We've got everyone from Spider Man, Iron Man, Fantastic Four, X Men, Punishers in there too, Captain America, um, Daredevil, Hercules. Goliath, <laughs> pretty much anyone you can think of, She-Hulk, 